you so no more to pretend. <laughs> We do have some questions. Yes. We're going to use our questions. Yes. <laughs> so, for me, it's very difficult to ask you a question because I have tons of it. But I really want to know what was the first time that you felt the need, the urge that you wanted to tell your stories. Oh. Ah. <laughs> um. You know, like I, I guess so many people here, um, young people come into cinema, um, coming into the adult world, I was quite lonely. And um, cinema taught me there was a really interesting part of the adult world where people thought about questions in a really exciting way. And I wanted to be part of that culture. I was desperate to be part of that culture. Um, I went to film festivals in Sydney where I was an art student. I went to every single film and just dreamed about having a little tiny short show in, in front of a, a major film. And I was really excited by that opportunity. And always it's been like that for me, just the next thing. I, I've never thought, oh, I want to make a feature too much, you know. <laughs> but each time I make it a little bit longer, a little bit longer, and finally, you know, I, I got to make features, yeah. And then you have your own special way to portray your always very challenging characters. And maybe you want to share with us, because there are thousands of people who love your movies, they are right there. What makes you want to tell those stories about the human being? Well, I don't find them very challenging to me. They're just actually you and me, you know. Um, I, I think the job of being human is really difficult. <laughs> Um, and that is a challenge. So I, I, I guess I love human beings and I'm really intrigued by questions of what's the point in love and um, um, how to live a life, all these things, you know, are really interesting and intriguing to me and they still are. Um, yeah, and I love that cinema can address them. Tonight we're going to show on this square the 4K restoration of the piano. I can still remember the shock that I felt when I saw your film. I was blown away by it. And generation after generation, this film has become bigger, more powerful, larger, more beautiful. It's been studied, cherished, and it has managed to push people to make their own films. The piano was an incentive to get free, to become free, to make movies. How do you stand towards the legacy that is still going on of this magnificent work of art? Well, it's a big surprise to me, you know. Um, I don't know what to say. I, I made this film, I thought it was a small art film, and I'm surprised it's um, anybody that it has this legacy and also grateful. You know, it's life is a mystery, you know, and I, I don't know what the ride's going to be like, but here I am on Locarno many years after the first screen of the piano in Cannes, and um, all you people are here, you know. I know not just for my film, but the other film too. So I'm, I'm really grateful to share this film with you. Um, bon divertenti. <laughs> Divertimento. Oh, shit. One divertimento. And my film, The Piano. Okay. But we are still not finished here. Oh, okay. There's one very important thing that we need to do. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course. Because we are very pleased, and with great pleasure, that we consegniamo a Jane Campion the Pardo d'Onore Manor.